Hello everyone and welcome from the northwest of England. We're here at Turf Moor. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Burnley taking on Chelsea. Thanks Derek as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Good game. Good game. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. Thank you for attending Turf Moor today. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Malo Gusto. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And nothing comes of that attack. Targets available, cross comes in. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Mudrik. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Brownhill on the ball Cullen moving the ball forwards how creative can they be and the challenge crisp and clean spot on with that tackle Thiago Silva intense pressure and so Fernandez see some progress with the ball at his feet and Sterling has it very quick thinking there Enzo Fernandez. Well, they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them. And Chelsea looking dangerous. And options in the centre. Superbly read and executed. Cullen 
Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Jackson. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Turf Moor. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder. And unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the scoreline here. And the match begins. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Charlie Taylor. And whips to the box. And he's got to clear his lines. Fernandez. Malo Gusto. Enzo Fernandez. Moises Caicedo. Fernandez. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Sterling ready. Not the best clearance. Can he finish? Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Foster. Brownhill. Good-looking sequence. It's there for him. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, I think that shows what a good rapport he has with the players. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So underway again here, one nil to score. Caicedo. Fernandez. Twenty minutes to go. Trying to open up the defense. Can he finish? The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing. And now they sense victory. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Enzo Fernandez. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. This is a message for Adriano Negri. Happy birthday, Adriano. Mudrik. And have a fantastic day from your friends. Richard. Now he must favour the cross. And possibilities here. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. 
so almost at full time and the home side very much in command Stuart what have you made of their overall performance well I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams for most of the game they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances I think it's been an excellent performance a chance to whip it in well that's how to keep the opposition at bay So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Moises Caicedo. So now it is final. This match is over and a positive result for the Clarets. What did you think of the overall performance? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. And the contest begins... Trying to open up the defence. Can he finish? The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing. And now they sense victory.